Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back with a new Viking Orations, and today I've got an EP review for you, and I'm going to be talking about the latest EP from the band Maggot Crown, entitled Suffering to the Conquered, and right off the bat, just look at that artwork. Is that not badass or what? I absolutely love this artwork. But, Maggot Crown, if you do not know who they are, they are a two-piece death metal band that formed back in 2014 based around the uh, South Carolina and Mississippi areas and uh, they released one EP back in 2015 entitled Unworthy Forms Burn have not heard that one myself this is my first introduction to Maggot Crown uh, yeah this is a four track EP put out through Vargeist Records just this year uh, clocks in just a little over 14 and a half minutes um, yeah and the two guys behind this project are Justin Vallis on vocals and he is also the owner of Vargas Records but he's also in uh, Morgue Walker, Putrefying Cadaverment among others um, then you have Jared Moran who handles all the instruments and does some vocals as well he also is in Morgue Walker and Putrefying Cadaverment and a whole slew of other bands according to the archives but the one that I actually recognize out of the others was a Hollowed Idols where he does drums and vocals there and they put out a really killer EP uh, just last year. So when you push play on Suffering to the Conquered it starts out with this guitar feedback before it just hits you sh straight away with this kind of blistering death metal assault. Think um, I Will Kill You off of Cannibal Corpse's Gallery of Suicide. How that song starts and then just BAM hits you. That's pretty much what you get with uh, this EP here and the lead off track Torch Perpetual Tempest. Um, I really like the drum sound that they got on this album. They really captured a really cool old school death metal sound that's not overly produced like some death metal bands uh, get anymore. Um, some may not like the kind of clicky kick drum sound that they get, but I don't know. I kind of like that. I think it really works well with the overall feel of this EP. Um, there's some really good blast beats on here. They're not overly done. He doesn't just you know blast all the time. He does throw us really good drum rolls and fills, but he does do a, quite a bit of uh, blasting on here, but it's really well done, I think. Bass, um, I really didn't hear too much of the bass on here. It seemed like it was kind of lower in the mix. I mean, you know me, I like a lot of bass. I like to hear the bass a little bit more, but I don't know, here it kind of, I think, worked having it a little bit lower. Uh, guitar riffs, oh my god. This thing is just filled with just these fast-paced, razor-sharp riffs with um, some kind of moments that are not too often, but they do slow it down a little bit, uh, especially track three, uh, Parasitic Remnant is a good example, where they slow it down just a little bit, give you these heavy, chunky riffs before just going straight back into the fastness. Um, you know, and throughout the whole EP, they're very evil sounding, I think. Um, you really notice it, especially, again, in track three, Parasitic Remnant. Um, and some of the other things that I heard in, when I was listening to this, uh, track two, Walls of Flesh, there's some riffs there and everything. They just kind of remind me a little bit of Cannibal Corpse. And then, of course, the uh, uh, leadoff track, Towards Perpetual Tempest, also has... Um, a riff in there in this little section that really reminded me of Mortician. I just kind of got this Mortician vibe out of it, which is definitely not a bad thing. Um, and now on to the vocals. Um, I've listened to several things with Justin on vocals, and I've always thought he has some really killer sounding vocals. And here he turned in another great performance, I think. They're very deep, very guttural. They're almost Demolick ish um, and anti Bowman. Think that kind of style. And. Uh, he also combines it with these almost blackened style screams that really remind you of like you're listening to a demon from hell, you know, spewing out these vocals. I just, I've always, you know, when he, I listen to this, that's the only thing I can think of. And um, they all have this very cavernous feel to the vocals, though, almost like he recorded them in a cave somewhere. And I really enjoy that. It's kind of echoey, just kind of. I don't know, you just have to listen to it. Like I said, if you enjoy Demolik, I think you would really definitely enjoy his vocals on this EP. Uh, the only other thing that I noticed here is around uh, the 240-ish mark in um, track four, which is the title track of the EP, he briefly goes even deeper in his vocals, and it just sounds absolutely 
beastly. It's like I was listening to it, and every time I got to that part, I was like, "Fuck, that is so awesome." So yeah, I would definitely recommend uh, checking this out. Um, I give it a solid nine and a half out of ten. Uh, really good EP. Definitely one of the better ones I have heard this year, and I've heard some pretty cool uh, EPs and demos. But yeah, definitely pick yourself up a copy of this if you can. The CD is only limited to 50 copies. Um, it is available digitally. I would definitely check this out if you want some really just in-your-face death metal. It doesn't last super long. I said it's only a little over 14 and a half minutes. But man, if you just got that, you just need a quick fix, definitely check out Maggot Crown. That is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.